Hey YouTube, it's Six Lows. I'm back with part three. Well, kind of. Um, you know, for this one, I'm gonna tell you how to record. Part four, I'm gonna show you my new steps on how I compress my vocals, EQ my vocals, reverb, echo, mix down, fit it in the big in the beat, and um, you know, get the volume right. You know, um, I record on Cubase 5.1. And Adobe Audition 3.0, you know, usually Cubase 5.1, but the steps are still kind of the same. So I will show you on Quota Pro on part four, which will come up two days right after this video. I'm here to tell you how to record. All right, before we get to part four, I'm going to show you how to record because I know some people didn't get the quality they wanted, and it's because of the recording, how they recorded. Um, first of all, stick around. Until the end of the video, I have uh, a surprise, you know, a giveaway. So, here we go. When recording, first of all, you want to get decent microphone, you know. Um, for the songs that I have on the YouTube that my brother recorded, I used the Samsung C01U. Cost $80 to $90 at Best Buy and other stores, you know. Okay, so, here we go. For when you go to record, you want to record in mono. To do that, you click right here, record on your vocal track, select your microphone, right channel, 32-bit, and hit OK. Okay, now you have your recording set up, and obviously record, and record, and you're set. Now, it's, I know it sounds easy, but it's not as easy as I made it seem. Um, to have a good recording, you need to have the room as quiet as possible you know and also not to have your microphone turn up too high you know right here look down right here where the cursor is at you don't want your you know your vocals to be you know peaking at negative three or ex especially zero you know because your vocals will really be peaking and that will mess up your sound and your quality so try to have your vocals sit around negative 12 to negative 9 while recording, you know. That will get you the best sound as possible, you know. You're not going to be picking up as much, like, as much noise around your room or anything. And also try to have the room as quiet as possible. When recording, have your your instrumental right here that I have. Um, turn it down so that it doesn't leak from your headphones. If it leaks from your headphones, it's going to get into the microphone while you're recording. And it'll be all on over your vocals, and it will mess up your recording. So keep that in mind. Next thing you want for when you're recording, you know, is um, you know, keep your microphone away from any windows and any walls. Try um, you know, to distance them from the wall a little bit. Just make sure you don't have it dead in the center of the room. You don't want that dead in the center you know just keep it maybe three four feet away from any windows or you know walls and you're good and recording is all about you know um you want to go ahead and you know show ex like emotion expressions like all in your vocals you know when it comes to music you know and mixing and then all that in good quality it's 80 percent performance you know and 20% mixing. So the better you, you record, the better your recording is, the easier and the better your your quality will be, you know. So it's, as long as you record well, you know, and, you know, not pick up as much sound from other things and, you know, have a clean recording, you will be set for when I show you part four. You will be amazed with your qualities, guaranteed. If you're not with part four, uh, you don't have a good quality message me i would personally sit here and tell you you know step by step um i'll, I'll ask you you know what you're like how you're recording and everything you can ask me questions and i'll answer them and everything um so yeah and basically when you're done recording which i will also say in part four um you want to bring down as you see here the instrumental and the vocals are down you know quite a bit is the reason for this is because when mastering you do not want your whole mix to be peaking at negative three to zero because the more room the mastering um you know technician has the better your your 
sound, you know, and your song will sound, you know. So I c like to keep mine from negative nine to negative six, you know, so I can have room for mastering. Mastering will get your overall, you know, sound up there to a radio quality without distortion of any sounds or instrumentals or anything like that. So that is it for, um, you know, part three, like I said, is just showing you or well, telling you how to record, you know, part four is coming out in two days, two days is coming out with me showing you how I record and everything, every single new step I've learned. I've been to new studios. I've talked to recording artists and audio engineers. So I know what I'm doing now, even better than I did before. My quality is not amazing for a home studio. So watch part four and make sure you have, you know, what I just said in here. Make sure you record the way I, I told you. Make sure you're ready for part four because I will show you all my secrets. Like I said, go ahead and message me your tracks. Um, well, not your tracks, but go ahead and message me if you want me to mix your songs and master your songs. Like I said, I will be mixing 20 and mastering 5 on a first-come, first-served basis for two weeks. Go ahead, comment, um, like, and subscribe. And thank you for coming and watching, and I'll see you in two days with a new video. Um, so stick around for that.